So what's the drill with drills? How did drills come into existence in the modern fashion that we use every day today? Well, around 35,000 BC, humans discovered the benefits and applications of rotary tools. Initially, this would have been something like a pointed rock that you spin between your hands in order to bore a hole through some wood or fabric or this dude's skull. Wait, no, that comes later. Because of this, our ancient Ooga Booga type cavemen began to think and through the ages came up with the hand drill. What is a hand drill, you might ask? Well, it's just a stick. A smooth stick, in fact, sometimes attached to a flint point, which you would rub between your palms to spin the point in place. Many ancient civilizations used the hand drill technology, including the Mayans, and they used many different types of stuff, such as bones, ivory, shells, and antlers. Next came the bone drill, which was one of the first machine drills. These tools worked by converting a back and forth motion to a rotary motion via tying the cord around a stick, then attaching the ends of the stick to the ends of the bow. This motion allowed us to drill quicker and more efficiently. Bow drills were primarily used to create fire, but the applications don't necessarily end there. There is evidence that these implements were used in ancient woodwork, stonework, and dentistry. Archaeologists have discovered Neolithic graves in Pakistan dating 7 to 9,000 years ago, which contained nine adult bodies which had their teeth operated on by bone drills. See, I told you people were drilling into other people's skulls. Well, their teeth. Anyways, even ancient Egyptian carpenters and bead makers have been depicted in hieroglyphs using the implements. The applications of this tool were far-reaching and greatly improved humanity's progress. The earliest evidence of these tools being used in Egypt date back to around 2500 BCE. However, I'd argue that with recent research and archaeological finds, bow drills have been around in Egypt for far longer than that. Over the years, many variations of this technology have been developed and are still used across the world today. After that came a couple honorable mentions, namely the cord drill and the pump drill. The cord drill was invented by ancient Egyptians in 3000 BC and is specifically to remove of a cylinder or material, much like a hole saw. The pump drill, by comparison, was invented by the Romans and is very similar to the bow drill. However, instead of a side-to-side -side motion, it uses an up-and-down motion to spin the bit. Western civilization used the pump drill and the bow drill to bore small holes. Before larger holes, they used the auger. This started between the Roman and medieval ages. This tool allowed for more torque, which helped to handle the larger jobs. A smaller scaled down version of the auger is called a gimlet, which is primarily used to drill small holes in wood without splitting it. Eastward civilizations had such a thing as the turn drill, which was invented as early as 221 BC, capable of reaching depths of 1500 meters. These tools were built of wood and were extremely labor intensive, but were able to go through solid rock. The turn drill made it to Europe around the 12th century, and in 1835, supposedly, Isaac Singer was able to build a steam powered version based on the Chinese method. Another interesting tool is the bit and brace. Although we are uncertain of when it was invented, earliest known evidence dates back from the 15th century. This is a really neat little tool, which is a type of hand crank drill. Drilling technology took a huge leap forward in 1889 with the advent of the electric drill, patented by author James Arnott and William Blanche Brain of Melbourne, Australia. Not long after, in 1895, the first portable handheld drill was created by Wilhelm and Karl Fien of Stuttgart, Germany. Also, sincere apologies if I got any of those names wrong or mispronounced any of them. In 1917, the trigger switch pistol grip portable drill we all know and love today was patented by Black & Decker. This led to the modern era of drills, allowing for a variety of different kinds of drills for many different uses. Well, anyways, that's the history of drills, at least as best as we know it. Uh, you know, do the standard stuff, like, comment, subscribe, and all that, and uh, we really hope you enjoyed this video. And if uh, there's any other history of tools that you would like us to poorly and sloppily research or anything else to do with tools that you would like us to do a video on, please let us know.